For the first time, the Renault series has a phone that has probably come to compete with the greats and to grab the attention of the smartphone market. This is the Renault 8 Pro and here are its first impressions. Let's check this out. Now why is the Renault 8 Pro interesting? First of all, it's got a very capable processor in its class. The MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Max. It's got only one variant, the 12GB LPDDR5 RAM with 256GB UFS 3.1 ROM. The Antutu benchmark gave us a rough score of 7 lakh change and BGMI has the 90fps option on this, which is fantastic. One other thing that definitely stands out for the Renault 8 Pro, apart from its performance, is its design. Glass back, glass front and metallic sides. The OnePlus 10R which is its direct competition comes with a forgetful plastic back so you know it's not that serious. Interestingly, the design follows the golden ratio principle which means that all the elements, all the little detail including the camera layout and the sides are all proportional to make it look as aesthetic as possible. Now OPPO has managed to keep it very slim at 7.34mm and with all the glass and metal it's not that heavy at all. It's just right to let you know that you're holding a premium phone comfortably and quite frankly, I'm in love with it. The display is a full HD plus 6.7 inch AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate and the touch sampling rate of 350Hz. There's a 93.4% body to screen ratio, almost bezel-less to put it in plain terms. 10-bit AMOLED with a HDR10 plus detection and support. We did check it out and you get HDR playback with Amazon, YouTube, Netflix and the HDR performance itself looks pretty good. With all that being said, it's time to game. BGMI is smooth mainly because of its 120Hz display and most importantly, its 350Hz sampling rate. The game mode will push the phone to 90fps setting which is kick-ass. In display finger sensor scanner, very very fast response. The Renault 8 Pro runs on Color OS 12.1 on top of Android 12. Bloatware apps left, right, center, but you can still uninstall them whenever you want. There's one more interesting addition in terms of software, and that comes in the camera. Now let's check out the camera. A 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766 sensor primary, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro. On the front, you get a 32 megapixel IMX 709 camera. Now what's the new addition? It's the 6 nanometer Mari Silicon X NPU. What this NPU does is that it helps with the 4K night mode video with AI enhancement. Initial impressions of the photos are pretty good, so take a look. In terms of connectivity, it's got everything you need. Wi-Fi 6, 5G support that to 12 bands, latest 5.3 Bluetooth, dual 4G, Wi-Fi calling, etc. Since this is a very slim phone, it's got a 4500mAh battery with 80W wire charging and the daily usage was normal up to 6 hours. And apart from that, OPPO hasn't been cheap with its charging brick. The contents of the box are the phone, a nice quality silicon case, the paperwork, 80W Superbook charging brick and the USB cable. In our testing, the 80W Superbook can charge your phone in roughly 37 minutes. I'm liking this phone so far and I'm really impressed with what Oppo had to offer this time. If you bought this phone and if you're a user, please let us know in the comments below what you think about this phone. For more information, visit Sangeeta's website. For better deals on gadgets and this particular smartphone, visit your nearest Sangeeta store. Make sure you click on the bell icon and the subscribe button. And until next time, take care.